Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a three-way dimmer switch. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and kill the power at the breaker, which I've already done. After that, we can go ahead and take this cover plate off and then remove the switch from the box. All right, so now we've got the switch removed from the box. What we're gonna to wanna to do before we start unhooking all these wires is we're gonna to wanna to take note of which wire connects to the common terminal. Because when we hook up our new three-way switch, we have to get this connection right or else it's just not gonna work properly. So your common terminal is usually a black or a darker colored screw that's on the side of the switch. And in this case, we have a black wire running to our common terminal. Now, depending on how your house was wired, it could be a red, a red wire, it could be a white, we just don't know because different electricians are gonna wire things differently. So in this case, we have a black wire going to the common, we have a red wire going to this um, brass terminal on this side, then on this side of the switch, we have a white wire going to this brass terminal. These top two that are connected to the brass terminals, these are called your traveler wires. So these just uh, provide power to and from both of the three way switches. Your common terminal, this is gonna be either power coming into the switch or power going out to the light that it controls. Um, and then obviously we have our ground down here as well. So now that we know which wires go where, we can go ahead and disconnect these wires from the switch. Now I've got these wires off of the switch. What I'm gonna do is just take and open up this half bend, or this half circle. That way I can connect it a little bit easier to my new switch. All right, so now that we have all the wiring disconnected from the old switch, now we can start wiring up the new switch. So this is the new three-way dimmer switch that we're gonna be using. And you can see it has this green wire. This is gonna be your ground wire. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook this ground wire up to the ground wire in the box, which is this bare copper wire right here. So all you're gonna do is place your two wires together, take your wire nut, and then wire nut it tight together. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and hook our traveler wires up. And so in this case, we have a white traveler wire. It's gonna go on this brass terminal. And we have the red traveler wire is gonna go on this brass terminal. So to hook these up, all you're gonna do is we're gonna take this white wire and we're gonna loop this half circle around this screw. And then we're just gonna repeat the process for the red traveler on this screw and then the black wire on this common terminal. Now on this common terminal, you can see that it is not black like the original one, it's copper instead, but per our instructions, this is the common terminal that we use for our black wire. All right, now that we've got all the wires screwed into the proper terminals, we can go ahead and take our switch and push everything back into the box and secure the switch to the box itself. All right guys, so we went ahead and cut the power back on at the box. We're gonna go ahead and test this to make sure everything's working and that we have everything wired up the way it's supposed to be. So flip the switch on, we have lights. That's a good sign, it means everything's wired up properly. Now to adjust the dimmer, it's pretty self-explanatory, but there's just a slider to the right-hand side of the switch. When it's in the lowest position, that's gonna be as dim as the lights can get. Push it up and it gets brighter. So you can see that's the dimmest 
and that's the brightest. Now you may not be able to see the effect of that much on camera because we do have other lights on in the house. Um, but another thing I wanted to point out is that this switch has this little blue tab um, that you can adjust and what that's for is if you've got any lights that are flickering after you've installed your dimmer switch, you can adjust that to the left or right and that's gonna help take care of that issue for you. All right guys, we've got everything tested, everything's put back together, we got our cover plate back on, everything's working the way it should. Um, it's really not that difficult of a process. This is something that you can do in probably about 10 minutes or so. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.